This is a luxury safari lodge, and yes, it's in Kenya. When you think Africa, you might think of disease, poverty, and mud huts. So today, we're going to show you a completely different side of Africa you may have never seen before. We're so close to them. <laughs> Ali and I rented a car from Nairobi and will be staying here at Mara Serena Safari Lodge for two days of African adventure. So come join us and welcome to Masai Mara National Park. <laughs> Check out our room. First of all, it's in the super cool African cave style that's the same throughout the whole hotel. And it's very spacious, comfortable king size bed, a bathroom, everything you need. But the cherry on top is this amazing balcony view of the Masai Mara National Park. The hotel also comes with great amenities. There's this beautiful pool area. There's a gym with a beautiful view as well, spa, and an amazing dining space where you get served breakfast, lunch, and dinner, all included with the price of your stay, which by the way, costs $332 per night for you to stay here. Now, that does not include any of the tours or game drives that you do with the hotel, and also does not include the fee to entry the park, which for us costs $100 per person per day, because the hotel is located right in the middle of the national park. And look who came to visit us in our room. Now why do we have to pay when this guy gets in for free? <laughs> look at that little buddy. It comes with the, it comes with the room. If you know what these are called, let me know, because I have no idea what this is. <laughs> little fluffy animal. Oh my gosh, look at that. There's a baboon. Try to get inside that room from the balcony. Jeez. While the amenities are great, we're here for adventure. And we already got a little taste of it as we came in and drove in last night. We saw three lines on the side of the road. And then also another pack of lions that actually came toward us at night with their eyes glowing, which is crazy, passed through a giant pack of massive African water buffalo. So that got us super excited to see more than nature. So for that reason, we're resting up the rest of our day today to make sure we're ready to go and have the energy we need for adventure out tomorrow, which we're super excited for. So let's go. It's a little after 6 a.m. And the reason we're getting up so early is to go on Africa's, one of the top safaris in all of Africa. Yay. And specifically, apparently the best time to see animals is in the morning. So that's yes. why we're getting up early. And we rented kind of this, like it's like a two and a half hour safari tour yes. here from the hotel. So I guess the guy's gonna kind of take us around for a couple hours. Yeah. yeah, and that costs $70 per person for this two and a half hours. They have different lengths of the tours with different prices. Yeah, like half day, or there's one more toward the end of the day. Yeah. But we asked like, when, when is the best to see animals? He's like, definitely in the morning. I Honestly, yeah, this is this safari, this is our third African safari. This is what we're, one of the best places in all of Kenya to see. Actually, I think it's the best for cats, like lions, leopards. Cheetahs, oh, yeah. So excited, so let's, let's go. go. Baria Asuboy. Abaria Asuboy. Yes. Yes. Good morning. Yes. Yes. First sighting, like a minute outside of the hotel, and we have three elephants. Actually, one's walking right toward us. It's beautiful, it's a little baby. Yeah, and our guide, Emmanuel, was just saying that, first of all, the animals are super, most of them are very friendly amongst each other, and the giraffes, because they're so tall, they are able to see things before other animals and they kind of like alert the other ones if there's any danger or anything. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, oh my god, you don't really realize how tall they are until Jeez. you ride next to them. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at these lines right on the road. Jeez, they were right next to the car. Oh, wow. I've never, ever been this close to a lion. Look at this. One, two. Three. 
Okay, we just bought some cheetahs. Oh my gosh. It's, it's even better than a lion. They're so beautiful. Like the, the, the fur, the pattern. Big cats, big kitties. Okay, so what's crazy is the cheetahs are right here and literally like not far away at all. It's their prey, it's just like, and they're just chilling there. So like right there, look at that one shot. You see the cheetahs and their prey. It's so funny. And we meet them again. The African buffaloes that we saw last night. So the African buffalo, elephant, rhino, leopard, and lion. Yeah, those are the most dangerous animals. Yeah, I'm actually glad that we didn't know how dangerous these were when we were driving in because we encountered a bunch of them on the road and it was pretty scary but now our guide is telling us all of the survival tips if you ever encounter them either go on the tree if there's a tree or lay on the ground because because of the way of their horns how it's shaped like towards the side it would be hard for them to pick you up from the ground so now you know We're back. Yay! Okay. Yes. Thank you yes. so much. Thank you, Emmanuel. Bye. 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 Yes. What a great safari. It's hit or miss. Like, you can't plan anything. The weather, you can't plan the animals. You don't really yeah. know. But because we already have the experience of also going to Amboseli National Park, yeah. last week, I actually preferred Amboseli. Yeah. I don't know if it was Mount Kilimanjaro. There were so many so. elephants. The biggest disappointment was we didn't get to see a lion or any or, other kind of big cat. Cheetah. Yeah in Amboseli, which we got to see here, which is the highlight here for me uh, so far. But highly recommend coming to Masai Mara too. For sure, so far it's been great, but we're actually super excited because yeah. we're gonna take a quick break and then head out to a local Maasai village, see more of the culture and this other side of Kenya as well. Just, um, man, this has been so exciting. Yeah, Just such a great stay so far, so uh, let's go. Thank you so much. Almost there. So our village is known as Engang Esoi. Say Engang? Engang? Esoi. Esoi. Engang means village. Okay. While the Esoi means rock. Oh. Yeah. You see the big rock? Oh, that's why you village? call it hard rock. Yeah, village. hard rock village. Yeah. It looks like the young men of the village are going to perform kind of a traditional dance for us. It's some really cool and eye opening. It looks like we all have to dance. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, in the Maasai culture, the higher you can jump, the more attractive you are to prospective wives. So let's see who takes the win. Have you ever tried before? No! Why are you looking at very good? It's my first time! Yes! 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 Yes!
this is a nice, this is an amazing stay. I won't even pay more for a stay because this is awesome. No. It's got everything yeah. we need. But there, we just passed by another stay, two thousand U.S. dollars a night at <laughs> yeah. another Hotel. luxury yeah. safari lodge in um, somewhere else in the national park. Yeah, we hope that you love this adventure and be sure to watch all of our other adventures here in Africa, South Africa, Namibia, Tunisia, as well Ethiopia. as Ethiopia. Yeah, yeah, Ethiopia. And more, more to come for sure. So we'll link the yeah. full playlist for Kenya and our other African adventures in the yes. description section below. Uh, but yeah, as always, thanks so much for watching. God bless you and your travels. Look forward to seeing you on the next adventure. Bye. Bye.